What's up, nerds? My name is Steve from Flipping the Nerd, and this is a contest video where you can win some awesome prizes courtesy of myself and Flipping the Nerd, which is pretty much myself. So, I didn't hit any really important milestone. Uh, my views have a pretty random number. My subscribership, although really awesome, also a random number. Although I will do a really, really huge contest when I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you help me get there, you can win something really, really, really cool. But I'm not there yet. So why a contest? Eh, why not? It's a you are awesome contest because you are awesome. That's it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, here, here's So I'm going to do something a little different from my contests. In the past, when I did my other contests, it was basically you win a contest, I contact you, I uh, build a box geared towards what your interests are. Then I did one for Halloween where it was basically I put horror stuff plus stuff that um, the winner was interested in. Uh, this time I'm going to do something different. I'm going to let you pick what you want in your box as opposed to me having to go find it. How's that going to work? Well, simple. I have two bags like this full of geek memorabilia, uh, items, all sorts of stuff that I either picked up, got in my boxes that I didn't want, uh, was given to me. Just There's a bunch of stuff in there ranging from bobbleheads to vinyl figures to mystery boxes to t-shirts, bags, books. Uh, DVDs, there's just a ton of stuff in there. Blu-rays, I mean, it, it's a full box of crap. Um, and the way it's going to work is basically whenever a winner is picked, I'm going to send them three pictures. I'm going to be like, okay, pick one item from this picture, two items from this picture, and three items from this picture. Plus, I will throw in a bonus uh, seventh item that I will actually go pick up based off your interest. So, so there's something kind of secret, you know, something that's special in there that uh, you don't expect. So that's what you can win. Just a uh, some stuff that you actually get to pick with pictures that I'm going to send you. How do you enter, you ask? Well, there are a few ways to enter. Uh, so number one, you have to be a subscriber, of course. Uh, write in the comments below. All you need to do is write, I want to be entered in the Flipping the Nerd contest, hashtagging Flipping the Nerd. That's it. That's all you need to do. And that gives you one entry. Second way to enter. If you uh, hit like on my Facebook page, which is Facebook slash Flipping the Nerd, and you write a message on that page that says, I'd like to enter the Flipping the Nerd contest, hashtag Flipping the Nerd, you get another entry. Same thing on Twitter. Twitter uh, hashtag, sorry, Twitter slash Flipping the Nerd. If you follow the Flipping the Nerd Twitter page, and you write, I want to enter the Flipping the Nerd contest, hashtagging Flipping the Nerd, you get another entry into the contest. So that's three really easy entries to this contest. And the fourth and final way, of course, you can make a video. Uh, I'm not going to make it that easy where you make a video saying I want to enter the contest. But if you do make a video, not only will I throw your name into the contest, but I will throw in a second uh, prize that I will pick. So instead of having seven items, you'll have eight. Six that you get to pick from the pictures, two that I will go and pick up specifically for you. And as an added bonus, if you do all four methods, I will throw in your name a fifth time, which gives you five chances to win this contest. So that's all you need to do. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, write I'd like, uh, I want to win the Flipping the Nerd contest, hashtagging Flipping the Nerd, following, liking, subscribing, whatever that service calls it, uh, the channel, and you'll be entered. For the video people, it's a very simple question. All you need to do is pick either a movie, a video game, or a TV show, and uh, plug, plug it to me. Sell it to me. Something, don't pick something that's Okay, uh, too mainstream. Pick something that you know you feel passionate about, that you feel people haven't watched, and just sell it. You know, just it could be your favorite movie, it could be your favorite game, your favorite TV show. It could be something obscure that you don't think people have seen. Uh, it could be something popular that maybe you know it's been it's older and people don't know. Whatever, you know, I'm not gonna even judge it. I just I'd like to f discover new stuff out there. 
Uh, and what I'm I'm gonna give you an example, and I'm gonna pick one. It's a TV show. Now, <laughs> I am trying to plug you essentially the biggest sitcom in television history, but I feel it's important that I do so. I am picking Mash. Now, Mash is literally one of the biggest TV shows in history. I think it might be the biggest TV show in history as far as ratings go. In fact, such a big TV show that during the finale, the, the, that was this actually the finale uh, disc, good, Goodbye, Farewell, and Amen, uh, so many people were watching it live because there was no VCR or uh, DVR or online to watch it back then. You had to watch it live. That... At the it was either at the end of the show or during a commercial break, so many people went to pee at the same time in New York City that it messed up the sewer system. That's how many people were watching the finale of this show. And the reason I picked it is, like I said, even though it is technically one of the biggest or maybe the biggest TV show in history, I feel that it's getting a little bit lost in time. People of my generation and younger, I feel, are not watching MASH. And that's a shame. Now, I totally get it. I was in the same boat as you were if you haven't watched it. It was, to me, it was a show that my dad watched reruns of all the time. And it didn't look interesting at all. Uh, the colors are very muted. You know, it's all army colors. Uh, it's old. You know, it's the 1970s. And even though the 1970s, well, I guess it's getting pretty old now. It's like 40 years. But uh, still, you know, the colors weren't great. And it just didn't look in any something interesting. Now, personally, I didn't want to watch it, but I had surgery, I had to stay with my parents for a week, and my dad had a DVD player that he had just bought when DVDs were starting to come out, and he had three DVDs. He had Castaway, he had Best of Friends Season 1, and he had, um, or Best of Friends the first three seasons, whatever, one disc of Best of Friends, it was like six Friends episodes, and MASH Season 1. So, you, there's only so much of those six Friends episodes and Castaway that I could watch uh, while I was recovering from this surgery. So I decided to give this season one a try, and I got hooked. It There's a reason this show is was so popular. It is funny. It is sad. It is just such a range of emotions, and it works for any generation. Now, in the show... Uh, takes place during the Korean War, but it was to make a statement for the Vietnam War. Uh, it just it just works. The camaraderie, uh, the desperation, what these people need to do to stay occupied and stay sane. It's just an incredible, incredible cast. Uh, so the first three seasons, I feel, are a little bit weaker. But then in, at, in season four, they started changing the cast, which transitioned to season five, where they really changed the cast. And it just got better and better. And they had that nice mix of being funny but also serious. Uh, whereas the first three seasons were a little bit more on the funny side. It kind of got more serious as the show went on. Still keeping a, that little tone of uh, funny as well. So to make something so deep and so serious so good is uh, and funny at the same time is brilliant. And I think you should at least, at least give it a try. Um, and if you really want to give it one episode try, uh, try to find an episode called Dear Sigmund, where a psychologist takes his vacation on the front line with these guys. And someone's like, why the hell would you take your vacation on the front line with this unit? And he said, because there's more humanity in this unit than anywhere else that I can find. And it's, and it's like a montage of each character, how they're coping with the war. And it's just so fascinating and so amazing. So that's mine. But if you're making a video, tell me yours. I would love to hear what movie, video game, or TV show you would like people to watch. So again, hashtag flipping the nerd. I'd like to thank you. The contest ends, uh, let's say, what are we, the 11th today? So let's say end of the month. Uh, January 31st, and I'll pick it in early February, uh, and I'll send the, the prize right away because the last prize took me way too long to send because I wanted some really special stuff, but this one will go pretty fast, I promise you. Um, so that's it. I'll put all the details in the comments below there, in the uh, description box below. I'll put all my links so you can just click there. Uh, so that's it. 
Thank you very much again for watching my channel. I really, really appreciate it. There will be many more contests to come, I promise you. I mean, this six items is barely going to touch this thing. So I'm just going to keep doing these until hopefully you get to be a winner. And uh, that's it. So thank you, and I will see you all on Twitter.